Hello friends, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink. This is video number two from me tonight. There were two Stamp Timber collabs released for another Super Saturday. This one is with Picket Fence Studios and it's the Trimming the Tree stamp set and it's super cute. Um, so like all the limited edition collaboration sets, these are one and done. When they sell out, they will not be restocked. It's just for Stamp Timber. I'll have the info in the blog post, which will be linked directly below the video. So I went clean and simple with this one. I was I was channeling Kathy Zielski for all I was worth. <laughs> I love her clean and simple style. Like, love it. But man, do I struggle with it. So I stamped this image. I just, I fell in love with this little image and... I immediately was like, oh, this will be perfect for an action wobble. So I stamped it onto Simon's Smooth White cardstock with intense black ink. And then I'm doing some very simple Copic coloring with some of my go-to combos. So I did some like peachy pink for her little outfit and then um, kind of an aqua teal combo for the rest of her outfit. And then just some warm um, browns for this like reindeer. So typical, basic, my go-to, you know, darkest to lightest when it comes to Cobalt markers, just simple, really simple. Although an image like this too, you almost wouldn't even need to color it. I was thinking it would look really nice heat embossed, like even like metallic heat embossing would probably look really good. So many ideas. Anyway, <laughs> after I colored in this entire image, I trimmed it out and then I had to add some bling because you know even if it's clean and simple you can't not have some sparkle so I use my aqua my nouveau aqua shimmer pen and I love this little like ornament hanging from his little antlers so I painted that with the aqua shimmer pen and then of course parts of her little outfit I painted as well so it's gonna have some glitter and I did remember almost forgot but at the end I'll show with my flashlight so you actually see the sparkle because it's just glorious so I painted on the sparkle and then I took my white gel pen and added little a few little highlights here and there and just little little extras, you know, just to make the image pop. So just dots and dashes and those sorts of things. So I trim this out actually with all the stamp timber sets. I think I've mentioned this um, with all of the stamp timber sets. I do not have the coordinating wafer dies for any of them. So I just have been fussy cutting all month. It's fine. Um, all these sets do have coordinating the option to get it with coordinating die set or just the stamp set as well or like alone. Um, the ones with coordinating dies have been just flying this year. Like, wow, that's all I have to say. Anyway, for my background, again, keeping this clean and simple, I pulled out my oldie but goodie all-time favorite. This is a Simon's Falling Snow stencil. And I actually had to check the packaging. This came out almost a decade ago. This is one of my first purchases, I think. Well, not one of my first purchases, but one of my... I remember like wanting the stencil so bad when Simon released it again, like 10 years ago. That's so crazy. It's still available. Still one of my faves. So I pulled that out and I blended that onto some white cardstock with Simon's Seafoam ink, just very, very light, very pale. And then I pulled out this holiday time is near and dear sentiment. And the deer is spelled D-E-E-R, like deer, punny. Love me some punny sentiments. So I stamped that onto the piece that'll be the, for the front of the card with the intense black ink. And then for the panel that I'm going to put on the inside of the card, I'm going to stamp that deer again, this time with Simon's flannel ink. It's nice light gray ink. And then there's a the little Merry Christmas sentiment in this set. So I stamped that onto the inside panel. And then my card stock for the card base is, I think Simon's slate cardstock, just dark gray cardstock. This will be a top folding A2 card, so four and a quarter by five and a half. So I scored that, enhanced the, the fold with my bone folder. And then my front card panel, I used um, ThermoWeb's foam tape. This is the one sixteenth of an inch, so it gives it a little bit of dimension. Nothing too crazy. So put that on the card front. For the panel on the inside, I'm just adhering that with Craft Tacky Glue, which always gives me those few seconds that I generally desperately need <laughs> to straighten things out and then I'm going to adhere my card front and then like I said this little action wobble I buy these in bulk from Simon I have a little pack that cut like you get like 50 in a pack 
love them. I haven't used these in forever and they're, it was just too perfect. So you just peel off one side, stick it to your image, peel off the backing off the other side and press it into place. That's it. That's all you got to do and it's done. And these flatten out perfectly so it, it'll go flat in the mail and I'll show that at the very end too. And then he's wobbly and it just, I love it. You know, I, I love simple little things like this. It's like such a fun way to zhuzh up your cards, but it doesn't require a ton of effort or thought. <laughs> so I added bling, of course, too. I have my Studio Caudia Iridescent Ice Flakes. These are a favorite when I'm making like winter theme, holiday cards, etc. And I, I had to, I had to, you know, rein myself in a little bit. Because again, clean and simple and me are just not usually a thing. So I, I, I removed some of the bling. I know, shocking. But just put a few, you know, I just, I just needed that little extra something, something. So I adhered those into place and that finished off the card. So it's, it's got some glitter and some shimmer and some bling. And then the big part of it is, of course, this action wobble, which goes flat. So it'll pop in the envelope, no problem. But then, yeah, how fun. I love it. <laughs> like I could seriously sit here and play with this all day. I don't know what it is about action wobbles, but I've always loved them. So like I mentioned earlier in the video the stamp set the trimming the tree stamp set from picket fence is a limited edition collaboration so once it sells out it's gone i'll have links to the stamp set and the combo set along with everything else i use that will be linked in the description box below the video i'll link to my blog post so you can check that out and like i said this is video two from me tonight so i do have um, another one with the other collaboration set. So you can check that out on my channel if you haven't seen it yet. And as always, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my videos, for thumbs upping and commenting. Subscribe if you haven't. I very much appreciate it. And I will see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.